How to activate beast mode on the OnePlus 5T. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to how to activate beast mode on the OnePlus 5T. Now if you have a OnePlus 5 or a 3T, you're going to be able to do these tips as well, but it's flaming hot right now. Let's get in to the tips. Now some people are going to say right out the bat, Snapdragon 835, 8 gigs of RAM, 6 gigs of RAM. That phone's already a beast. Why do we need to do this stuff? Well, you don't need to do it, but you can do it if you want and that's why this video exists. Let's get on to the first tip. Okay, so the first tip is we're going to go ahead and tweak the animations for our device. Now, if you're a seasoned Android user, a veteran user, long time user, you might already have this enabled on your OnePlus. So we're going to go into settings, scroll down until you get to about phone and go down to your build number and tap on this repeatedly about seven times and you should enable your developer options. Once you get that done, scroll down until you locate your animation speed. So we're going to go down here and we're going to go to window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. Now, the one that really shows the visual change is transition. So what I like to do is if I'm going to go beast mode on the phone, I'm going to put this thing on point, point 0.5x or off. Now, off is basically 0x. I recommend it to have it off if you guys want to have, on all three of these, if you want to have the absolute fastest experience here for the OnePlus 5T. So that's the first tip on the list is to go ahead and disable those animations. And you can see right here, look at that. Now it's just flying through basically everything. Now, when you first get this out of the box, it has like this little fly-in animation, but there's absolutely no animation here now on the 5T. Okay, so some people might not like my previous tip on the off animation because it looks a little choppy sometimes. It doesn't have that pleasing visual look. So this one is more of an alternative tip to the other beast mode tip. We're gonna go back in the settings and we're gonna put our animations at 0.5 for this one. So if you did like the speed you were getting with off, you could leave it there and just ignore this tip right here. But we're gonna put it at 0.5 for this one. And then we're gonna download this application called Nova Launcher here. Now, again, seasoned Android users know what the hell this is. If we go into Nova Launcher here, we're gonna go ahead and go into the settings. So hold down on the home screen, go into settings, make this your default, first of all, make Nova your default launcher. Then we're gonna go back into settings here. We're gonna go to look and feel. When we get into look and feel, we're gonna scroll down until we see scroll speed. We're gonna put this on faster than light. Then we're gonna put this animation speed on faster than light. Then on the app animation, you can leave it at the system app animation, but I like to put it on the zoom. I think it looks a little bit more visually pleasing and faster. So now we're gonna put this as always. You can see the scroll speed is just faster than it was on the OnePlus launcher right here. So very quick here with this Nova launcher. So that's an alternative option if you don't want to use the OnePlus launcher with the animations off. Now you could use the animations completely off on Nova launcher as well. However, you're not gonna have the animation look. It'll just be like what it was on the OnePlus launcher, but just with faster scroll speed. So overall, Nova launcher is a recommendation. However, you're gonna have to go ahead and customize this to your liking if you do decide to download this. So this next tip has to do with a software built-in feature that OnePlus threw in here that has to do with the buttons. Now, it's this one right here where we go to the double tap action. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the screen here on the double tap action. Now, that's on the home button right here. So when we do this, now instead of reaching up to the power button, which isn't that hard to reach in the first place, however, when you're using this tall display like this, sometimes you gotta finagle your hands around just to get up to that power button. So like say you're scrolling through and you just wanna close the phone right there, you can go ahead and do that instead of reaching up there. You see how I had to reach up? So this is definitely quicker. It makes the phone just feel a little more responsive when you're using it from the bottom and you just wanna go ahead and turn the screen off. So you can go ahead and do that to make this phone a little bit more beastly. Okay, so the next one on my list has to do with disabling some of the stock applications that came on the phone that you're not using. So for example, I don't use play movies or play music. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into settings, then we're gonna go into our apps. So let's go into apps. Let's go to our application list here. And let's scroll down until we can find play music. So let's go to play here. Oh, well, not music. I think it's play movies, I said. So let's go to play music or play movies. And right here, you can see where it says disable. So if you disable this application, it's not going to be collecting data, storage, any of that stuff. In effect, it should improve the performance. So any of the applications that you find that OnePlus gave you on the system that you can't actually delete off your phone, 
just go ahead and disable them and you should get a little bit better performance because you'll have less resource hogging going on in the background. Okay, so for this next tip, you need to be rooted. This phone is actually not rooted, but I can still share this tip with you because I'm more than likely gonna root this very soon after my review. Going into the Play Store, you can see, you can set your CPU clock speed. So I'll leave a link to a forum that'll teach you how to root this phone down below, but you could see no frill CPU control or set CPU for root users. Once you go in here, you can change the actual clock speed of the CPU from whatever it's clocked at to a little bit higher. And when you go ahead and do this, you're gonna be able to eke out more performance out of that CPU because there's like a limit that OnePlus puts on it from the get-go and pretty much all smartphones do. That's to get you better battery life and to get you just an all around, you know, snappier, efficient experience, no overheating and stuff like that. Now, keep in mind, that if you do overclock your CPU, you do run the risk of overheating and decreased battery efficiency. So that you do have to keep in mind, but this is still a tip to make it even faster. Okay guys, so for the next tip, doesn't really have to do with any of the software features that we've been talking about most in this video, but just reboot the OnePlus 5T every day when you do wake up. This thing will keep it running snappy and efficient all the time and i don't really see my android phone slowing down that much when i do do this so go ahead and give it a reboot every single day so have you been enjoying that flaming wallpaper on the oneplus 5t this whole video well we're going to disable it right now don't worry i'll leave it linked down below if you guys do want to download it i just don't recommend you run wallpapers like this for performance it's a resource hog a battery hog and it also will slow your phone down just slightly probably won't see too much of a slowdown with the 5t just due to its enormous amount of power but still i never recommend these wallpapers so we're going to go into our apps and themes go to wallpapers and just set any wallpaper we want on this phone just to keep it you know out of static wallpaper so that's one of my recommendations is a static wallpaper okay so the next one is we're going to go ahead and we're going to clear out the cache on our application so i downloaded the c cleaner app i'm not actually going to clean the phone with this app but i'm using this app to go ahead and see what's hogging my resources so just go into the c cleaner app go in this little hamburger menu and go to app manager and right here it's going to lay it out for you right here what is hogging your resources on the phone you can see jetpack joyride is a big hog so i would go in to the app list in my settings and i would clear the cache on there samsung internet causing a lot of resource hogging you could see instagram so what i'm going to do here after this step is i'm going to go into my regular settings now and when I get into the applications, I'm gonna go to application list. Let's find Jetpack Joyride because that's been a resource hog. Now I'm gonna go into storage here and you see that right there, clear cache. Now don't clear the data if you don't wanna lose your last saved game or you don't wanna lose where you signed in or like say you have an app where you put a password in and it's remembering your password, don't clear the data because you're gonna basically restart the app from fresh. But if the app has been giving you a lot of issues, just uninstall it all together or then you would want to clear the data. Okay, so here's another one that could slow you down and this could actually add to the beast mode of the OnePlus 5T. So let's go into the account settings here and we're gonna go up to this three dot menu up here. Now, if you have more account based applications, this list will grow. You're gonna wanna go here and turn off auto sync data. Now, don't do this, I warn you, don't do this if you wanna continue to open up your apps and you don't wanna manually refresh things, then don't do this. But what this is effectively doing is it's uploading your Twitter, like updating your Twitter's data, your, your Allo's data, whatever you're using, automatically in the background rather than you actually going in pulling it down refreshing or going in and seeing what's new on your own now you could manually do this or you could leave this on but if you turn this off you will have faster performance and actually maybe a little bit better battery life as well so that's even an added benefit of this so that's it those are my tips on how to activate beast mode on the oneplus 5t now the oneplus 5t is already a beast out of the box but i feel like this just unleashes its full potential of the beast that it is so you know the ones that really matter the most here if you don't want to do all of these tips it's just too many for you just go ahead and reduce the animations the tip about restarting every day the app application cache clearing and if none of this is working and you one day you're seeing this video because maybe you're seeing this a little later than i released it because this phone's pretty new and you just are having issues with the phone just go into the factory data reset so we're going to go down here into backup and reset and just factory data reset this thing you should be back to running efficiently and then put these tips back on your phone but if you found this helpful enjoyable do me a favor click the like button for me if you found this not helpful dislike it whatever you like to do and uh nick you're helping you to master your technology if you're new here consider subscribing for more i will catch you all in the next one be sure to be well and peace